Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Time Wine Channel. I'm your host, Thomas, coming to you live from my little home office here in Napa Valley to cover a pretty common topic in wine, which is uh, how do you know if your wine is corked or not? Well, first of all, what is a corked wine? It is when your wine comes in contact with the cork and the cork has a chemical compound that it has been affected with called trichloral anisole. Um, we call it TCA for short. Now, what is TCA and what causes it? Well, a couple things can cause this compound to infect your cork. Number one, um, the cork comes from a bark of a cork tree and they punch out the cork from this thick spongy material, um, which is the bark of the cork tree. And had that tree been in contact with um, certain bacterias that combine with uh, fungicides and herbicides that they used to use uh, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, that bark can automatically be infected with trichloralanosol uh, and have that cork taint affecting your wine. Number two, um, the corks after they're produced, if they are to be cleaned with some type of uh, bleach or chlorine substance, that can combine um, with properties in the lignin of the bark and cause a reaction and create um, this TCA effect as well on your cork. Now, studies have shown nowadays that anywhere from three to 6% of the uh, wine in the entire world is uh, affected with cork taint. Although these days you can actually buy corks from the cork manufacturers that are guaranteed not to have any of this compound. And if you do find one or a series of them, they will replace uh, the cost of the bottle and everything like that. So it's becoming something that's more and more rare, uh, especially here in Napa Valley. I uh, can't speak too much for the old world and how they're doing it over in Europe. I know for, from personal experience, European wines tend to be corked more often than what we do here. Um, in Napa Valley, but um, don't have any studies behind that. Now, when you open a bottle of wine, how do you know if it has this? Well, um, number one, oftentimes when you open the bottle of wine and it's completely mute and doesn't have any aromatics at all, um, you can be sure that something is quite wrong. Wine has aroma. And when the trichloral anisole hits your olfactory sense, what it does is causes the brain to understand that this wine is not okay to consume. This is something that is programmed in our biology um, to allow us to be alerted to things that might be moldy or not good to eat. So TCA studies have shown, recent studies have shown that cork taint um, actually doesn't have a smell at all but it's more the chemical compound reacting to our olfactory senses and causing us to, um, to imagine something that is moldy or has a moldy uh, kind of damp, wet cardboard type of smell. Um, this is quite interesting to me. I always thought like, you know, cork taint had a smell itself, but it's actually the chemical compound reacting with your brain, into your brain um, that's causing this. Now, what exactly does cork taint smell like? Well, it's exactly that. It's like a wet moldy basement or wet cardboard or like wet leaves. Um, it's not very pleasant and it's very hard for a lot of people um, to get past this. Now, if you don't really know what it is and you're not used to this, you might just not like the wine. It might just be like, this wine isn't good, which would be uh, kind of a problem if you had spent a hundred plus dollars on a bottle of really beautiful collector Cabernet, and you just end up not liking it. Um, so this could possibly be the case of why you're not liked it, because the wine's actually corked. Um, that's kind of the rundown on how do you know if your wine is corked. Most often than not, your wine will just be muted at first. It won't have much aromatics at all. And as the wine continues to open and develop and uh, kind of cool down to, uh, or warm up rather to warm room temperature, that smell that you're detecting might come become more and more and more prevalent. And then um, that's often the case if you pull something right out of a wine cellar, you pop the cork and it's rather just mute and you don't know really why or what's wrong with the wine. 
let it sit on the counter for you know 10 to 15 minutes and then go back to it and oftentimes that smell or what uh, that chemical is doing to your nose will become more and more um, prevalent. Anyways, that's my little jam on TCA, trichloral anisole, and cork taint. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. I love you all. Cheers.